Hey Canada, welcome to Good Bites Takeout. I'm Alex and this is the show where I make the most of the fact that we can't go out to eat, so instead, I take it to go. Today, I'm in the Montreal borough of NDG for one thing and one thing only, Thai food. Now here's the deal, I've been on the hunt for good Thai food ever since I came back from two back-to-back -back trips to Thailand. Today, my expectations are astronomical. Baba Thai on Monkland is the latest project by Montreal chef Sean Daskal. It opened up in the middle of a pandemic and there are a lot of reasons to be excited about what Sean is cooking up. Sean Daskal, classically trained French cordon bleu de Paris, thought that that's the food I wanted to cook for the rest of my life. Ended up going to Thailand to fight Muay Thai, but luckily enough I got set up with Kap Kruan Kap Kao, Chef Kap Kao, who is the royal Thai chef to King Rama the Eighth. And that's where my love of Thai food began. I said to my wife, who's my partner here, I said, we gotta bring this food to Montreal because I'm cooking it at home every night and I want my clients and my friends and family to be able to come to a restaurant and really enjoy authentic Thai flavors and techniques. So we're gonna start with uh, Thai street food classic, Pat Siu. So that's a wide rice noodle, caramelized, um, a little bit of oyster sauce, and we make our own master sauce in house. Gai lan, Chinese broccoli, and our rotisserie chicken, so our gai yang. Then we use a little bit of dark soy sauce or sweet soy sauce, and wok hei. That's the flavor components. Hard, smoky, delicious. Chicken! The next dish is going to be Thai style Singapore chili crab. So that's a live gas uh, snow crab. There is some crispy Thai basil. We make our own chili sauce in house. Uh, we use our chili crisp and the little something special for garnish. The last dish is a nouveau style larp, but we're doing a mushroom larp, so we're using wild mushrooms. Um, our in-house roasted rice powder that has kefir lime leaf and galangal and sticky rice. Uh, then we're going to be putting in some red onion, green onion, Thai basil again, kefir lime leaf, and then our vegan fish sauce. There's a bunch of love in that dish too. All right, let's dive right into the first dish here, the wild mushroom lard. Now, this is kind of like a salad, but it's a little bit more complex and developed than a salad. Usually, they make this with meat, with a protein. Sean makes this with wild mushroom. Give this a taste. Mmm, mmm, mm-hmm. Spicy. So much texture going on in here. A little bit of like a chimichurri type flavor is going on in here and damn, is it spicy. If you're not a mushroom aficionado, if you don't love mushrooms, probably not the, the dish for you because they are loaded in here. A little crunchy, very fresh, very tasty. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next up is my number one all-time favorite Thai dish, Pad Su. Now, I know a lot of people, their first Thai dish is a Pad Thai. That's your entry point. I gotta tell you, it's fine, but there's nothing like a good Pad Su. It's beautiful. I wanna see their take on it. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. This is the perfect thing to eat on a Friday night when you don't feel like cooking, but you still want to indulge in something a little bit international, because that's what this is. It's like taking a trip to Thailand in your mouth. Mm -hmm. And finally, is something that's a very special item on their menu. They only do it when it's in season, chili snow crab. They do this when it's in season because they have it shipped in fresh from Gaspésie. Let's give it a shot. It's like a kinder surprise for adults. Mm. Mm. I've never had crab that literally just melts in your mouth like that. It tastes like a buttery seafood blend in your mouth. It all tastes very fresh and very summery. And I know you can eat it all kinds of seasons. I know in Canada, sometimes you want to get away in the winter time. You want to enjoy some crab. But I'm telling you, this summer is going to be a hit. And that is it for this episode of Good Bites Takeout. Thank you for making it to the very end. And listen, if you want to explore some of Thailand in your mouth, you can hit up and order from Baba Thai on DoorDash, Uber Eats, Skip the Dishes. They're also on Fantuan, Hungry Panda, and Check Please. I remembered them all. I'll see you next week with another place if you want to order some takeout from. See you then.